Oh, you're recording. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Sarah from Losing It For Me 42 with my week 80 something update. It'll be in the title. Uh, as you can tell, there's a bit of a difference. Uh, I have a new phone, so I feel like you're so up close and personal right now. Uh, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG surgery on October 26, 2016. My high weight was 389 and that was in April of 2016. My surgery weight was 324, so that was about a 65 pound loss pre-op. I came at you guys a couple weeks ago without a weight and I'm pretty much still there. I've been bouncing between 209 and 220 for a what feels like forever. It's got to be at least a month or two. Um, I've been on the higher end of that for about a month. Um, or at least it, it feels like at least about a month. Um, I think I weighed in this morning at like 218. Um, and that's just kind of where I've been. I feel like I've actually like at first I was like, oh, I'm just bouncing. It's just water weight. It's just this. No, I've, I've gained weight. Um, I'm currently on a round of steroids for my neck because I've had a very, very bad flare for my neck. Uh, for you, those of you who are new, I have a herniated disc in my neck. Um, I have actually a couple of disc problems in my back, and the one in my neck is currently being a fucking bitch. Um, so yes, that is definitely a big issue. I'm on a round of steroids, which, you know, part of that could be weight gain. Though I'm not eating like crap. Um, I'm peeing a lot. I've noticed that steroids make me pee a lot. Um, which is interesting because a lot of the gain from steroids is water weight, it's water retention, and I'm having kind of the opposite in that. Um, but yeah, not too happy about the weight. <coughs> Excuse me. I have felt like my clothes aren't fitting me the same way. I have felt like bloated and puffy, and I really thought it was like just water weight, but it's, it's, I've been on the higher end for way too long. I haven't seen 209 in a long time. Um, so I'm, um, struggle, 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 struggle. Um, I'm not eating bad. You know, I'm not eating, I'm not eating perfect, but I'm not eating bad either. So I don't, I don't really know. Um, I feel like this is like my body's want to be maintenance weight. Um, I don't want it to be maintenance weight. Um, but I feel like, you know, they talk about your, uh, how your body after having surgery has a new set point. I feel like this is very much my set point. Um, cause my body like it. My body like it a lot. I've been... I've been in this weight range for, I'd have to look, but I feel kind of confident saying like, I haven't been too far off of this for probably about six months. Like on the higher end, on the lower end, but like, like a little above 220, uh, you know, below 220, I've been there. I feel like, I feel like it, it must have been like six months. I, it's been ridiculous. It's been a long time. I have no concept of time. I fully admit that. I have no concept of time, but I feel like it's been a long time. So, struggle, 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 some more struggle, and add some struggle in there. That's me. Um, trying to keep my head up, literally. <laughs> Nick Rose. Um, what's really ironic is like, I've had such bad neck issues, and I never had neck issues. Like, I didn't even know I had a herniated disc in my neck, and I've had it for at least 10 years, I want to say, um, whenever my accident was, and I don't remember exactly when that was, but like, I think it was 2007, but I'm not sure. Um, and I've, I didn't even know I had a herniated disc in my neck. I mean, granted, now that I do, I look back and go like, hmm, how much of, how much of my pain was associated with this thing? I didn't understand what it was. Um, but 
has gotten a lot worse. And I think it's because I got such a skinny neck now. I can't support my neck is so my neck is so skinny that I can't support my hernia just kidding. I that fat had some good, apparently. So yeah. Struggle, 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 struggle. That, that's me. Uh just trying to get through. Just trying to get through. Uh, I have spinal stenosis in my spine because it, uh, in my neck because um, my injury is um, so part of it is natural and part of it is that my injury is so old. Um, so they're not sure they can they can do shots. I'm waiting to hear back from the surgeon on whether or not there's enough room <laughs> in my spine. If you don't know what spinal stenosis is, it's the narrowing of the spinal canal. Um, so they're not sure they can basically like get in there and put shots in there, um, which is the next step. But if they can't do that, it's straight to surgery. And at this point, I'm fucking miserable. I want surgery. Scared, but I'm fucking miserable. Like my quality of life is shit, which is causing a lot of my problems. And I think I've talked about this before that I'm kind of in the like... I'm kind of doing the exact same thing that I was doing pre-op where like I literally just, right now I lay on the couch with a heating pad on my neck when I get home and I'm kind of there all night. Um, and I don't do much of anything else. I've been pushing myself to go do things and be active, but it's it, it takes a toll. Like yesterday I mowed the lawn, which was pretty bad because I hadn't mowed the lawn yet and it looked like it was a tropical rainforest in my backyard. We've been getting like severe, severe amounts of rain. And so like the grass has just been growing like crazy. And I mowed the lawn and afterwards I was fucking miserable. I was in so much pain. Um, yeah. So I'm trying. The nice thing is, is and this is also the, the other frustrating part, is first I feel like I am back where I started physically. Second is that I also feel very capable. Like I mowed the lawn. I mowed the entire fucking rainforest lawn and I felt like tired afterwards and I felt incredible amounts of pain afterwards, but I was capable of doing it. It didn't have to do it in chunks. I didn't have to do the front lawn and the back and the back lawn a different day. I didn't have to like not pick up the grass clippings afterwards. Um I did it all. I got rid of the sticks. I got rid of, like, I, I took a shovel and dug up, um, an annoying tree, like a tiny baby tree that was, we have these, this thorn tree that just shoots out little things everywhere and they start growing in the yard. And so like we had one in a bush and it was just fucking annoying. So I like took a shovel and I dug that fucker out and that took a lot, um, because those things, their roots go deep. Um, fucking thorn trees. Um, but yeah, I did that too. I was capable and very like, I had it in me and I'm like, I just, I want my neck to be better so that I can do things again. And I have the energy and the will to do things because I do have it in me. I just can't do anything. It's so frustrating. Um, let's see. Lots of things have been going on at work. That's been very stressful. I'm hopeful, but I've learned to not get my hopes up. So I'm very confused. Um, things might hopefully be clarified tomorrow. Um, <laughs> big. Um, yeah, not sure what's going on there. And I think that will dictate a lot of what is to come after tomorrow. So I don't. Yeah, don't know. Stressful. Very stressful. Um, and yeah, hopeful, but I'm, I'm trying not to be hopeful because my job likes to dash my hopes a lot. They like to get me excited about things and then come. Um, so I'm trying not to put any eggs in any baskets. Um, <clears throat> I did have a very interesting um, experience. <laughs> It's something that I have a lot of, like it happens to me a lot, and it's very frustrating for me. 
So you know how you have those phrases that people use about your weight loss? And some people, there's just certain phrases that just, anno that just annoy you. Like, you know, people who say, how pretty you look now, as if you didn't look pretty before. You know, just, just little things, little statements that people say that annoy you. Well, someone said one of those statements to me yesterday. And I was just like, I just go smile and say yes, because that's what I always do, but it really bothers me. Um, and it's one of those turn of phrase phrases, turn of phrase, phrases, turn of, anyway, more coffee, um, which I'm not supposed to be drinking, but I'm going to have headaches anyway. And I love coffee and I can't live without the caffeine. Um... So, uh, someone came very, very high up in our company who used to work at our company, um, came to visit us yesterday at work and, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, so he hadn't seen me in, oh God, it had to have been like close to a year, maybe like six months, maybe a year. I forget the last time he was he was at our company, um, but it's been a long time, um, and I've been losing weight for two years. Um, even though I'm 18 months out, I'm actually <coughs> excuse me, I had a frog in my throat. Um, I've been losing weight for about two years, and you know. He saw me and he was like, every time I see you, you're smaller. He's like, I'm so, you look fabulous. He's like, and then he says the phrase that I hate. You must feel so good. Now, this is a phrase that lots of people would have absolutely no problem with. Me? I have such a problem with. Because I don't feel good. I physically have a lot of other ailments that have nothing to do with my weight. And though my weight contributed to a lot of my problems, it wasn't the only thing. It wasn't like it contributed to in accentuating my problems, but it wasn't the only reason that I had problems. I was hit by a car. I was in a very bad car accident. That was 95% of my problem. So when people say that, I get so frustrated. Because I want to say, no, I actually feel like shit right now. And I'm looking at a surgical option on my neck because I feel like shit all the time. But you can't say that. You have to be polite and go like, oh, yes, I feel amazing. Um, it's one of my pet peeves. It's a pet peeve that no one else would understand, but it's one of my pet peeves. Um, and it also was a very interesting thing. I don't. I've had this on occasion with other people where they, you can almost tell sometimes other people who've said this statement to me, not this person, but at times, um, and I haven't, I never really ran into it full blown. But there are people out there who really judge you on your weight. And I mean like, judge you on your weight. And you sometimes never see it until you've lost the weight. And then suddenly they like you a lot more. They're proud of you. And like, random strangers are proud of you. Um, and I don't mean like, strangers on the internet who are also going through the stuff. I mean like random person on the street who's like, oh, you've lost a lot of weight. I'm so, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but like people in your life who suddenly start treating you a lot better because you've lost weight. For a second there, I was like, did we have a car accident? Like, why is everyone just not moving? Um, and you realize like they were, a, I don't know what the term is, a weightist. I don't know what, what it, oh, weight biased. Um, where people really do judge you 
on your weight and think less of you because of your weight. And for me, I didn't really see any of that until <clears throat> I started losing weight. And then, like, their pride in you is not... Um, the pride in you is not, oh wow, you've accomplished something. It's, oh great, you're not a fat bastard anymore. Um, I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, there's a different, that, that pride isn't real, like, good pride. It's like, not good pride. Um, I don't know. Has anyone else had this, in, had this situation where, like, you can tell that a certain, like, in a certain situation that like it, your weight loss is not is not being taken in a good way like not in a they're not I don't know how to describe it it's not like they're like super like you know jealous or anything like that it's just like wow you got off your ass and started eating correctly good for you like not in the, oh wow, you've taken your health into serious consideration and really, you know, worked very hard. Does that make any sense? <clears throat> I don't know if that makes any sense. But that situation reminded me of that because other people who've said that phrase have done, have, have felt that way. Um, or at least their connotation was of that way. And I think it's very... It's very interesting when I run into that. I feel like I'm still, like, oh God, because I've gained, like, on the higher end of my fluctuation, I feel like a fat bastard. And I'm not someone who likes to throw the F-bomb around. I'm not somebody, well, <laughs> that F-bomb. I like fuck a lot, but I don't like to say fat all that often. But even though I've probably said it like seven billion times in this one. Um, <clears throat> I don't like to call myself fat. I, I have felt very thick and heavy and just not, not in the best of spaces. Um, it, my mental situation is really fucked up. I'm trying to deal with it as best as I can. It's a struggle. I am constantly trying to remind myself that even though <clears throat> my number is on the heavier end. I tend to look like your average woman. Um, most average women are not in their ideal weight range. I happen to look around at a lot of like women in my age, my age range and I see that I am actually pretty average when you when you actually like average it all out um and that even though because my weight is you know above 200 and you know I feel like I I feel very like still like a fat person I have to remind myself that in fact when you really look at things, <clears throat> my actual size, and it's very interesting, a lot of people have told me this, is that when you meet me in person, they're like, you're so much thinner in person. You look so much thinner. And I was like, that's because you see the whole body and you realize, like, I actually look rather averagey. And you know, I'm in a size 14, which is a bit big, but like, I've seen people in that size who look so much smaller than me than I am aware and a lot of it is just I have weird <sighs> excess skin and rolls and all sorts of stuff from being really heavy for a long time I mean I'm what 40 ish pounds away from losing half of myself actually less than that I would be because if it would be half I'd be 20-ish pounds away from losing half myself. So, um, God, that just kind of hit home to me. I was like, wow, 
I'm actually pretty damn 289. What's half or 389? What's half of that? I'm doing math in my head and I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I'll have to look that up, but yeah, I'm actually, cause like I've lost, a, I've lost, well right now I'm not at 180, but I'm at like 170-ish, but like, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm at too far from losing half myself. That's interesting. I'll have to do better math cause it's too early and I need a calculator. Um, but yeah, that's kind of interesting. Overall, I have to remember I'm a success even though I feel like shit and I'm going through a hard time and that this is a lifetime struggle and not a right now struggle. Like, we're gonna have ups, we're gonna have downs. Things are not always gonna go our way. Sometimes things are gonna go really, really not our way. I'm not eating like shit. I'm eating regular. I'm not eating perfect but I'm not eating like shit. I need to get to a space where I can eat perfect, um, or more perfect, should I say. Uh, Cause I would lose weight if I ate more perfect. I would lose a lot of weight if I ate perfect. But because I'm struggling and because I have a lot of mental problems, it's been hard. But I haven't been eating chips bean chips. I haven't been eating the bean chips. I've been, you know, I've been having like Halo Top, but like not a lot. I've been, you know, I did have a bagel at the last sales meeting. It was a New York bagel and it was a real from, from a bakery bagel. It was so delicious. Uh, I, I, but I've been also like at times like severely overly hungry I feel like that has gone away a little bit but I was having a, a real bout with that where like not no amount of food was filling was filling me making me feel full and that was kind of like scary at times and like what's going on um, <clears throat> excuse me I think it was just really hormonal So, struggle, 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 struggle. Um, didn't want to come, didn't, didn't want to go without making a video. I would, I did make videos on my old phone, but my phone would just stop recording and I couldn't get a full video in. So, uh, it, my phone was just a piece of shit. So I have a new phone and now you can see me and HD. <laughs> I need makeup. Um, <laughs> But I will try to update you guys a little bit more. Hopefully I'll know soon about whether or not I can have shots or whether or not I'm having surgery. Yay! Okay guys, talk to you later. Bye.